Hello and welcome back to Ganesh Institute channel. So in today's video, we are going to discuss about Laplace transform and some of the theorems related to it. And we'll first start with first shifting theorem. Okay, so let's see what is it and how it works. So you have a function ft. Okay, and you have to find out the Laplace for that ft. Then it would be limit 0 to infinity e raised to power minus s t f t t t. Okay, this would be your Laplace. So, for example, if you have to find out your function is let's say 1, okay, or any numerical value. So, your Laplace for that 1 would be 0 to infinity e raised to power minus s t and you will put 1 instead of t dt. Right? And you know how to solve this for integration. So this would be e raised power t is e raised power t. And whatever you have in terms of power, you have to differentiate it and divide it. So if you do differentiation of s t, where s is constant, it would be minus s, right? Limit 0 to infinity. Upper limit minus lower limit. So once you put uh, t as infinity and 0. So it would be, you know, e raised to power infinity is 0 and e raised to power 0 is 1 upon minus s. So Laplace for 1 is 1 by s. Right? This is your Laplace. Similarly, if you have anything like, let's say, algebraic function, t raised to power n, then it would be 0 to infinity, e raised to power minus s t t raised to power n dt, right? And you know, we have already discussed this bit in gamma function that this would be gamma n plus 1. And in denominator, we'll be having s raised to power n plus 1. Okay? Just because this is what we have, that's why s raised to power n plus 1. We have already discussed. Please watch that video where we discussed about gamma function. So this is Laplace of algebraic function. Similarly, if you have to find out the inverse Laplace, so in that case, what you need to do, so in case of inverse Laplace transform, what you are supposed to do, just put it like lambda, I mean uh, Laplace inverse of, let's say we want to find out Laplace inverse of 1 raised to power s n plus 1. So what is it? We are taking this thing, as Laplace inverse, that means function, and this will go down. Down, that means t raised to power n by gamma n plus 1. Okay, this will be your Laplace transform. Similarly, you can learn so many formulas for this, depending on what we are having in terms of function. So if it is Laplace of e raised to power at, it would be 1 by s minus a. That means Laplace transform for 1 upon s minus a would be e raised by at, right? Similarly, if you have to find out Laplace of sine at, it would be a upon s square plus a square. Okay. And if you have to find out Laplace inverse of 1 upon s square plus a square, it would be sine at upon a, right? And you can keep moving on. So if we talk about the Shift. If we talk about the first shifting theorem, then what it will be like? So, in case of first shifting theorem, we can see theorems are not necessarily required that you have to do particular question with first shifting theorem only. But it's just that when you are having long questions. With the help of theorems, you can make them short and you can easily get your answers. Okay, so in terms of first shifting theorem for Laplace transform, if let's say you have Laplace transform of something, let's say this is Fs and you have product of something. Let's say if this Ft is having in multiplication e raised by at, then your Laplace will be equal to Fs minus a. Okay, let's see how. If you have question, you have to find out the Laplace transform of e raised to power 2t sine 3t. Then how you can find it? So now you can compare. This is 
E raised for 80. So A is 2 here, right? But let's, this is your sine 3t. That means, firstly, this is with first shifting theorem, right? Actually, your function is sine 3t. And I just told you that for sine, if you have to find out the Laplace of sine 3t, that means sine 80. The formula for sine 80 is a upon s square plus a square, which is 9, right? So this is your LFT, right? So that means Laplace of sine 3t would be 3 upon s square plus 9. So if you have in multiplication and you apply first shift theorem that means c now in function ft if e raised by 80 is there you will be having s minus a that means f of s minus a a would be e raised by 80 that means 2 right so if ft is this i mean Laplace of ft that means fs is this so fs minus 2 what you need to do all what all you need to do is just substitute s as s minus 2 so 3 by s minus 2 whole square plus 9 right so this would be your answer now similarly if i ask you that you have to solve it uh, with the help of some Laplace inverse transform if you have to do something in this this was what this was first shifting theorem for Laplace transform right so if question will ask you that find out or use first shifting theorem for inverse Laplace so what is inverse Laplace you will be given with this and you have to find the function with using it right so let's see what is it so you have now your question, the question with you is, you have to find out you are given with Laplace inverse of 3s minus 2 whole square plus 9. This was the final answer last time, right? Now, if you have to solve this, how you will solve it? So the first shifting theorem for Laplace inverse transform is, let's say you have your Laplace transform of ft as fs, which we have already studied. And you have Laplace inverse of Fs would be Ft from here, right? So Laplace inverse means cross of this function becomes Laplace. So that would be because last time the first shifting theorem for Laplace transform is like e raised to the at Ft is Fs minus a, right? So just make it opposite. Laplace transform of Fs minus a would be e raised to power 80 Laplace inverse of fs, right? So let's apply here. If you see, if I take this 3 out, what is left? 1 by s minus 2 whole square plus 9, right? Now if you see, we have already studied that this is the formula basically that Laplace inverse of 1 by s square plus a square is sin 80 by a when i was introducing uh, laplace transform with you i told you that laplace transform of sin 80 is a upon s square plus a square so that means inverse is this right so that means if you compare here your s is s minus 2 right and then so you can convert it like this is your s minus a right so it would be e raised to power 80 a is what? S minus A. A is what? 2. That means 2T. And then you have to mark Laplace inverse of Fs. And S is what? This is sine 80, right? If you just see S, not S minus A, that it would be S square plus 9, right? So that means 3E raised to power 2T. We have just seen that Laplace inverse of s square uh, 1 upon s square plus a square is this. That means sine 80. A is what here? This a square 3 square. That means 3t 
by 3, right? So 3 will be cancelled with 3. What we have got is e raised to power 2t sine 3t. And in just before this question, we have seen that we just solved this into this form, right? So it means we can convert any of the form using transform and then inverse transform. And if there is something which is S minus A form, then we can use first shifting theorem. I hope you understood this video, this concept. And if so, then don't forget to like, share and subscribe my channel. Till my next video, take care of yourself. Bye-bye.